Hello, beloved. Thank you so much for joining me today to read Isaiah 40 through 43. And the word of God reads this. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry out unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked places shall be made straight and the rough places as plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. And the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The voices said, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, withereth, withereth. The flower fadeth, because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bright bringest good tidings. Get thee up into the high mountain, O Jerusalem that bringest good tidings. Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work is before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom. And he shall greatly lead those that are with young. Who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord or being his counselor hath taught him? With whom took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the smallest dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as every little thing. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. To whom then will ye liken God? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workmen have melted, melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spread it, spreadeth it over with gold and casteth silver chains. He is so impoverished that he hath no oblation, chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image thou shalt, that shall not be removed. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof as the grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in, that bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me? Or shall I be equal? saith the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things, that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth them by name, by names, by the greatness of his might. For he that is strong in power, not one faileth. Why sayest thou, sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God. Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? 
There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them who have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 41. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east and called him to his foot, gave nations before him and made him rule over kings. He gave them as dust to his sword and as and as driven stubble to his bow. He pursued them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first and with the last, I am he. The isles saw it and feared. The ends of the earth were afraid, drew near and came. They helped every one of his neighbor and every one said to his brother, be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth with the hammer, him that smote with smote the anvil, saying, It is ready for, for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men, chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will hold thee, uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all that they were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek him and shall not find him. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and, a thing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not. Thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and thou shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. When the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open the rivers and high places, and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness cedar, and shitta tree, the shitta tree, the myrtle and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the fir tree and the pine and the box tree together, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this. The Holy One of Israel hath created it. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring forth, let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things, what they will be, that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare us things for to come. Show the things that are to come after that we may know that ye are gods. Ye do good or do evil that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, ye are of nothing and your work of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth, chooseth you. I have raised up one from the north, and he shall come. From the rising of the sun shall he call upon thy name, and he shall come upon princes as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth the clay. 
who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say, He is righteous. Yea, there is none that showeth. Yea, there is none that declareth. Yea, there is none that heareth your words. The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold them, and I will give to Jerusalem the one that bringeth good tidings. For I beheld, and there was no man even among them, and there was no counselor that, when I asked of them, could answer a word. Behold, they are vanity, their works are nothing. Their molten images are wind and confusion. Isaiah 42 Behold my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged, till he hath set judgment in the earth, and in the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith the Lord, God the Lord, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth and which cometh out of it, that which cometh out of it, excuse me, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it and the spirit to them that walketh therein. I, the Lord, have called thee into righteousness. I will uphold thine hand and I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the Gentiles to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give unto another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea, and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice. The villages of Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rocks sing. Let them shout from the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a traveling woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs. And I will make the rivers islands. And I will dry up the pools, and I will bring the blind by the way that they knew not. I will lead them in the paths that they have not known. I will make the darkness light before them, and the crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them, and forsake, not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed, that trust in graven images, that say to molten images, Ye are our gods. Hear ye deaf, and look ye blind, that ye may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf is my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect, and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake, and he will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are of them that snared in the holes, and they are hid in the prison houses, for they are a prey, and none delivereth, delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. Who among ye will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear the for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for a spoil, and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient to his law. Therefore he hath poured them upon them the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and hath set him on fire round about. Yet he knew not, and it burned him. Yet he laid it not to heart. 
Isaiah 43. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flames kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even everyone that is called by my name. For I have created him for my glory, and I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes, and the deaf that have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together, and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this, and show us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses, that they may be justified, or let them hear and say, It is truth. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and saved, I have showed and I have showed. When there was no strange God among you, therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work. Who shall let it? Thus saith the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake I have sent to Babylon, and I have bought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans, whose cry is in the ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and the horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as to Remember ye not former things, ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself, they shall show forth my praise. But thou hast not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel, Thou hast not bought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast, hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor wearied thee with incense. Thou hast not bought me, thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money, neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices, but thou hast made me to serve with thy sins. Thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake, and I will re not remember thy sins. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Thy first father hath sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to the reproaches. I've read for you Isaiah 40 through 43. I pray that you stay in your word. I pray you have understanding of the word. I pray you be abundantly blessed.
Hello, my friend, and welcome to Fear Into Faith Global Bible Revival, where we are on a mission to get a million people to read the Word of God cover to cover for themselves. I'm your host, Summer Day, and with me in the studio is Crystal Souvenir, souvenir Jordan. <laughs> oh, man, reverse, reverse. Crystal Souvenir Jordan. <laughs> Hello, Hello, fabulousness. Hello, gorgeous. I got to ask. Yes. How are you doing? I am walking in the miraculous, darling. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. A little inside joke between me and you. Yes. People don't know that you spent the last year of your life walking in. Wait, what were you the last year of your life? Blessed and highly favored. Yes. yes. We're going to have to unpack that story. Okay. We're going to have to unpack that story here in a minute. And just because I know a lot about you, but let's just ask. Who you are, where you're from. We'll start with where you're from. Okay, so I currently live in Texas near in a little town near San Antonio, but I'm a military brat, so I'm from everywhere. From everywhere. I, I, I'm international. International. Yes. And what is it you do, Crystal? <laughs> so, wait, <laughs> Souvenir Jordan. Souvenir. Like, I bought a souvenir. Crystal Souvenir yes. Jordan. What is it you do? Uh, I do a lot of things. Um, most importantly, I am, outside of being a woman of God and a minister, I am a marital intimacy expert. And so I coach married couples how to regain, maintain, and prepare intimacy after they have been hurt to their marrow, after life has just beaten them and just come at them super hard. Okay, you got to say all that again. You help married couples repair, repair, regain, regain, and maintain, and maintain intimacy. Wow. Yes, between man and wife and man, wife, and God. Powerful. Yes. Powerful. I love it. I love your passion, what? your enthusiasm and all that stuff. Okay, before we talk about how you're walking in the miraculous, what made you say yes to this project? So never, ever have I heard of the Bible being read on TV. That's insane, right? Oh, it's a special kind of crazy. Oh my Christmas. gosh, there's so much on TV right now that you have access to, that our kids have access to, yeah. that is just rot. <laughs> complete and utter garbage yeah and so to be positioned to actually put the word of god out there yep. for the multitudes yep. is something i couldn't say no to Amen. i did not have a choice because i know the word does not come back void come he on. promised us that right yeah. so there's no way that a person can see this and not be touched in some way even yeah. if even if we're just planting the seed or if we're the ones watering, mm -hmm. at some point God is going to give the increase. Mm -hmm. And on. so I, I there, I didn't have a choice. You I had did to, not have a choice. Did not have a choice. But I love it. I love it. Plus, I know you, and I was going to like hog tie you, <laughs> rope you up here. I had to make sure Chris okay. was on the show. So let me just put this out there for you. Okay, there is almost nothing that you couldn't ask me that I wouldn't do. Woo! That means I'm not even going to wait. I'm just going to ask you to sing right now because you didn't mention that you're all amazing. <laughs> you want me to sing right now? Did you not think I'd let you get in that chair and not <sighs> sing on TV? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want you to sing. Okay. You have such a great voice. That's how we met. We could share how we met first. Yes. Oh, my God. So, that was crazy. A year and a half ago, you came to one of our Fear into Faith live events, which... If you don't already have the dates saved, September 12th through the 14th, 2024, we're going to get together. We're going to have a three-day Holy Spirit-filled event. Yes. Jesus, take the wheel. Lots of people will be there, different speakers, prophets, apostles, all that stuff. And we're going to finish reading the end of Revelation out loud together as a community. So you mark your calendar. You make sure you're there. So you came to one year and a half ago. First one. And I didn't know you at all. All I remember is that like, you said something about singing or worship, and I said, well, get on up here. And you're like, what? I'm like, get up here. And I just put a yeah. microphone in your hand. Sure did. With the, what happened was, you first you asked the, the group, he was talking to everybody, okay. why is the enemy trying to stop you? And you made us write it down. So we okay. wrote it down. And then you said, what are you going to do about it? Like, get mad. Like, like you have a appointment. You have an anointing. You have a calling. You have a reason yeah. to be here. And the enemy is trying to stop you. Get mad. What are you going to do about it? Just like, right? <laughs> so you were walking around and you were putting a microphone. What do you do about it? And you walked right past me. And I thought, safe. And then you turned around and said, what do you do about it? Oh, and I was like, was sneaky. You was. You caught me off guard. And I said, you know what? I'm here. Might as well. I said, I'm going to sing so that the anointing can flow and block the evil spirits long enough for people to be able to hear from God. Wow. And you said, so do it. And the next thing I knew I was on stage, like, uh, what do I say? Come on. Yeah, I didn't remember what led up to that. Yeah. 
And I, then you get on stage and just like full disclosure, you open your mouth and it's like, dang, listen to that voice. It was so powerful. The whole audience went crazy. And you know what? That's the Holy Spirit because I didn't know you from anybody else. I had no idea you could sing like you could sing like you could sing. Oh my God, God. Dude, I mean, well, you know what? I got it. My mom sings like that though. My grandmother, my auntie, we used to sing in a group together. So it's just, it's like a whole family thing we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give us just a little riff or two. Just sing us a little bit here. Okay. I, I know I've been changed. I, I know I've been changed. Ooh, I, I, I know I've been changed. Angels in heaven done sign my name. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Can I learn to sing right then? Yeah, sure. Right. The Holy Ghost could teach you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And if Crystal coaches me in the oh, mic drop. I love it. <laughs> I love how we met. I love how we met. I I didn't do that activity the last two events. I think I forgot I did that. Yeah. We're going to have to bring that back for the next one. That was wild. I, which It doesn't stop you from kicking people off the log. No, no, it, it doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> okay, I want to go back because you you and I met at the event and then you joined our coaching program. And one of the things I do is I coach people on how they speak and how they show up. And I, yes. I challenge the world to go against the status quo to stop saying, how you doing? Fine, good, okay. Mm-hmm. And I tell my clients to just pick a phrase and run with it. And you picked less than highly favored. Yes. Tell us the story of what happened in the last year and a half. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So within my culture, how you do it, I'm blessed is a, is a common thing. Okay. Right. Um, and I, I know that life and death is in the power of the tongue and they that love and eat the fruit thereof. It, I'm not new to this. But but when you get beat down by life, yeah. sometimes you need to be reminded. And so I said, okay, you know what? No matter what's going on, I'm going to say I'm blessed and highly favored period. I'm going to live in that space. And so there I was at work. People would say, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. And I'm limping. <laughs> how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. And I can barely walk. I, my back is out. You know, th- how you doing? I'm <coughs> blessed and highly favored. I got the flu and pneumonia. Yeah. How you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. Can I borrow $5 for gas? Yeah, how you doing? I'm blessed. And, highly, and, and finally, somebody said, you, you don't seem blessed and highly favored. And I said, you know what? First of all, I walk by faith and not by sight. Come on. So I don't care what you see. The word of God says I am and so it is so. Second of all, the blessed and highly favored is in the minutia. Yep, I'm struggling, but I can dress myself. My kids are okay. My husband is okay. My parents are still living. I have a roof over my head. I may not be eating steak every night, but I got food on my table. I am blessed and highly favored. Come on. I'm not on the side of the road with a sign that says we'll work for food. I have a job. I might not want the job anymore, but I still have it. Yeah. Blessed and highly favored. Yeah. So I don't care what you see. That's what it is. And at first people was like, okay, she's blessed and highly favored. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and then it became, hey, how you doing? Because they were waiting for me to say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. You started telling everyone you were blessed and highly favored. You got all the eye rolls. And then yes. what happened? Um, what happened was really quite amazing. I would come in and people would say, how you doing, blessed and highly favored? And I would say, yes, I am. How are you doing? And they started saying, I'm blessed. And I would say, well, finish it. And highly favored, follow with me. Come on. And highly favored. And then it became, how you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. How you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored too. And people who weren't even professing Christianity was now mimicking this back to me. I don't even they realized the power of the words that they were saying. You can check out the rest of this interview right here or by going to BibleRevival.tv. And if this show has blessed you, you can help us bless others by partnering with us for as little as $20 a month and help us to expand the reach of this show. We'd also like to invite you to join our Kingdom Discipleship Program, where you have an opportunity to get on weekly Bible Zoom calls with us and people around the world to deep dive into His Word. And you can check all that out at BibleRevival.tv. I'll see you next time, my friend.